guys are vibing. I hope you guys are doing good. I hope everyone's having a good time. Hope everyone's excited to watch some uh, little commentary or listen for those of you who are work lurking. So today we are actually going to watch a playback of the brand new Super Mario Brothers 3 100% world record of a time of one hour, nine minutes and 58 seconds, 0.183. I'm pretty sure my run was one hour, nine minutes, 58 seconds, 0.4. Um, so this beats my run by only a couple frames. Uh, it's brand new. Uh, let me get rid of these. Okay, there we go. So this is a brand new run done by Maiba RTA, um, who is also a, a very, very, very good Super Mario World runner as well at the same time. I'm pretty sure he has the 96 exit for Super Mario World. If I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all you who know everything about everything. That's my bad. So what you're gonna see on the right side is that he has the splits on the right side. He's got his gold column, the world record column, which is mine, and PB column. And below that is, you can see my name uh, as a mini video player and a PB on his right side. Um, it looks like he tries to do um, manipulation. Let me actually just go back really quick. It, see, it looks like he, he tries to set up for manipulation by waiting at the menu here. Um, but I don't think it worked because it looked like he got a movement of two right there. Okay, so let's get back to where we were. We're going to be breaking down as much as we can here. So just keep in mind, like, we're going to be pausing and going back and playing through. Um, so my guess is, because I haven't seen this, is that we're really not going to see a whole lot of difference in terms of um, strategy. Like, we might not see him do fast 7-2, but he's definitely going to do the clip in 7-5. Um, the best part about playbacks is we can actually fast-forward through auto-scrollers, which I don't know if people hate or like, but I definitely like the ability to just kind of fast-forward through auto-scrollers. Auto-scrollers are kind of... There's, there's not a whole lot going on, and we, we can save, like, 10 minutes... Uh, watching videos, watching Mario 3 runs, you can save like 10 minutes. So the Hammer Brother RNG so far is, it seems like it's pretty bad for him because he's gotten uh, three moves to two, but if the Hammer Brother moves up right here, uh, this will actually be pretty good for him. So let's see, let's see what happens here. I'm very excited to see the difference in the Hammer Brother movements and how it's gonna play a role. And he did get the Hammer Brother to go up, so he does get the earliest Fire Flower. Um, a lot of people ask, uh, what determines the Fire Flower power in the Hammer Brother battle? And it depends on the tile in the overworld map, okay? So I'm gonna pause it on the overworld. Okay, so, uh, you can see my mouse cursor. So these tiles, there's technically, like, a level on every tile. Like, if I put 1-1 one, one right here, like, in a map editor, and I just, all I did was swap the, the place of where it is, I could enter 1-1. One, one. But I would need a pointer to tell me that when I enter 1-1, one, one, it goes to 1-1. One, one. If I put 1-1 one, one here and didn't change any pointers and I enter the level, it would actually just take me to a Hammer Brother battle. So there's like a Hammer Brother battle on every tile or everything that allows me to enter, right? So like this right here, the spade game. If I put this spade game right here above the lock and enter the spade game, I'd probably enter a Hammer Brother battle. Okay? So the overworld tiles are what tells you whether or not there's a fire flower. So right here, if you fight a hammer brother on this tile, there'll be a fire flower. And if you fight a hammer brother on this tile, there'll be a fire flower. If you fight the hammer brother here, here, or here, there won't be, <clears throat> there won't be a fire flower in the tile. Now, a lot of people ask if the hammer brother can go in other places. If you beat the fortress normally and break the lock and then get a game over, the hammer brother can actually go all the way up you can get the Hammer Brother all the way over here. You would just have to sit there and die a whole bunch and have him come up past the lock. But it's possible. He can go over there. All right. Back to the run. Back to the run. All right. So he gets a good Hammer Brother. So because he gets a Fire Flower, I'm not sure why he didn't go for the Duck Strat there. He could have saved probably like 0.5 or something uh, by doing a Duck Jump on top of the uh, Hammer Brother. 
but that's okay not a big deal it's honestly not much of a time loss he's got early fire i want to see what he does here he does the shot nice all right so it looks like he's behind by a lot but really he's not he's killed the hammer brother two stages early so every time he beats a level now there's no hammer brother movement all right no movement so he just goes to go right to the next level whereas on my video or his pb when he's beating these levels the hammer brothers moving and then we'll see we'll see what happens here i think i got i did get fire flower so that's good and so did he his pb so i didn't stomp in my world record because i didn't have the tail and if i took damage i'd have to reset so i didn't do that so just like that i think he actually it almost looked like he might have it almost looked like he might have missed his a press um so there's people in, in chat asking uh why that saves time um so let me let me go back to the hammer brother battle really fast okay right here so when you fight the hammer brother um i explained yesterday that when when you fight the hammer brothers and the boomerang bros the chest won't appear until everything's off the screen so in tank brigade one in world eight when the hammer brother throws the boomerang and then you kill the hammer brother the chest won't appear until the boomerang comes back and goes off the screen well, the same thing applies with the with um these hammer brothers so the difference between stomping on them and hitting the block below is that when you hit the block below the hammer brother dies by going upward and then coming back down as you can see he pops up and then he goes down just like that if you stomp on the hammer brother he'll just go down he'll go straight down right so if you start the battle and you jump up and you go up and you stomp on him he'll just drop down instead of popping up and then going down so the whole the whole difference is him going up with the with the death animation like moving upward and then coming back down so that's that's where the time save is there's like a million time saves in mario 3 they're never ending okay uh so again the airship we get to fast forward it looked like he got a normal normal fire fire pattern yep pretty close so the runs are i'm guessing that <clears throat> the run is going to be insanely even for like most of the most of the time all right world two this is where it can get really interesting lots of hammer brother movements so i'm i'm very curious to see I like his split setup. <clears throat> I like his split setup. His split setup's really nice. 2 1, very, very easy level. Uh, for anyone on YouTube wondering, this record was beaten from today, which is the 29th of March. The world record was beaten uh, yesterday, actually, in the morning. Like, um because my biz the japanese runner it was like two in the morning for us probably two or three in the morning and i'm mountain time so who knows right whenever whenever um and then three days it was like three or four days before this uh my any percent no wrong warp run was beaten ah he goes for the turn back okay so he saves a bit of time oh my gosh i did not know that that happened in my world too so I didn't get P-Speed, and you guys can actually get a good idea of, a, of the difference, right? Um, you can actually fully see the difference. So I entered the level first, and then if you see who enters the pipe ne uh, first. Oh my god, such a big difference. Look at that. Look at that time difference. I entered first, and I'm still by the thwomp here, where my was already in the pipe. That's just from getting early P-Speed. So I actually have a little bit of time saved. That's that's kind of nice. That that's, I there's something there. That's good. That's something. Do 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 do. All right, spike room is pretty close to the same. Not not much of a difference. He does have somewhat of a slow battle. You can tell the difference between a slow and fast battle, based on the height and where the boom boom is when you kill him. So you could kill him while he's still in the air because, <clears throat> sorry, you can still kill him when he's in the air and that will obviously be faster. But as you can see, the frames 
go down, right? The Boom Boom could already be dead. But that's just how it is. So he actually lost time compared to his PB. His PB caught up a little bit there. Alright, so it looks like we're both getting pretty crappy Hammer Brother movements. Uh, lots of movements to two. We're both in two, three right now. Not bad. All right, okay. Not too bad. Turn back. I did not have to do a turn back for a car, so that probably allowed me to catch up a little bit. All right, so he doesn't get the screen scroll, so he does actually lose a frame there, which is really unfortunate for him. Uh, you get, well, I don't know if it actually loses you a frame, but you get one free frame to screen scroll over an enemy. Um, and I, I would guess because you get that one free frame that if you have to fight the Hammer Brother on that transition, that you'd have to wait that one frame. Um, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure. That's something I'd have to ask a task or just task myself. All right. Looks like I got some pretty good World 2 RNG. So as long as I don't make a mistake again when I go back to World Record Attempts, get that early P-Speed. But it looks like he also got pretty good World 2 RNG. Those movements of one... <clears throat> Those movements of one, I tell you. Ooh, and then I got the movement of two split, but I don't think it I don't think it ended up being too bad because I think the Hammer Brother's gonna move up. But my Boomerang Bro moved backwards there. Ooh, he, does, he has to do bottom row. That is unfortunate. Um, he doesn't want to gamble, which I agree with. Um, if the Hammer Brother's right by the Pyramid, you want to go down so that you, you end up in his path regardless. If the Hammer Brother had moved up for him, he would have gone up and done 2-4. Uh, this method, doing this way, causes him to do a couple extra map movements. Um, and extra map movements actually cost a lot more time than you would think. Um, I think moving four extra, or no, if you move one up and one back down so you do two extra map movements i think that's close to 0.8 okay so he uses a star boomerang bro move forward not bad gets the hammer now he's got to do level four right on my runs in the pyramid grabs the warp whistle So I'm actually curious if he does the um, boss pattern manipulation where you just buffer after 2-4, which is also another time loss as well. So just doing, you really, really want to do 2-4 more than anything. You really, really want to do the sun level, 2-5, come up and do 2-4, get the warp whistle, do pyramid. That's like the most ideal path. And he does do the method. So he had already done the screen scroll. So, it allowed him to stay ahead. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good. Alright, we get to fast forward auto scrollers. So, all in all, that World 2 was uh, really, really good. He did have to take the 5 path, but that, that's, not, that's not a big time loss or anything. As long as you do all your tricks properly, get a couple movements of 1 with the Hammer Brother, like you're really not missing out on too much. Right? So, as you can see, I think the Boomerang Bro moving backwards for him and a couple movements of one, I'm guessing. That would be my guess. Um, but it's looking pretty good. Yeah, look. You can see his World 2 gold. He almost gold. He was, he was very, very close to golding. So, that is a good World 2. That is a very good World 2. Alright, off to World 3. It has begun. Okay, so 3-1. There's really not a whole lot that goes on in 3-1. Um, it's definitely possible to make mistakes in 3-1. Don't get me wrong. You could definitely... Like, if you fall in the water here accidentally, that's like a pretty big time loss. That's a pretty big time loss. Okay. 
bad. We all get a mushroom, right? Yep, 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 yep. So 3-2, I don't know if Maiba would reset in 3-2 based on not getting P-Speed, but let's find out. No, he does get it. Definitely gets it. All right. Right on, keep P-Speed. We got the exact same Hammer Brother movement. Um, let's see if we get the same one again. He got down, up. I got up, down. We got the same thing, but reversed. My left row went down, and his left row went up. <clears throat> Man, that's crazy with that duck jump. I always thought that that would cause like extra lag frames, but I guess it doesn't. I do not need to risk that. All right, pretty decent movement. I got really good movements with the Hammer Brothers. So because he got two movements of two guys, that allowed me to catch up already. So the Hammer Brother movements play such a massive role. As you can see, I'm I'm already back in the lead now. And that's mainly because the Hammer Brother did two movements of two. That's one second difference between me and him. So that second is gone for him. Uh, he got another movement of two where I got another movement of one. So my World 3 is going to be very... It seems like my World 3 is going to be pretty hard to keep up with for me. When I come back, I don't... I don't know if I'm going to see any time save. However, I did get a water battle though. So there might be a little bit of time save there. But I'd have to continuously get... Movements of 1. But I did fight the Hammer Brother earlier. So we get to see an interesting difference here. The accidental duck jump from my butt. I don't think that's really going to cost them anything, though. I don't think that makes much of a difference. So now he's going to screen scroll again. Has to fight him on the screen scroll. Mm. Alright, so it looks like I'm ahead by a lot more. But my butt has already done the screen scroll. Where I have not. The screen scroll is like moving the screen to the right. Okay, 4-3 pretty good. Nice, so now we get to see the difference. There we go. So I was able to stay, stay ahead by a couple seconds from World 3. Damn, that was a good World 3. So you guys can see the only difference between me and him in World 3 is the Hammer Brother movements. And look at how much time difference that is. I mean, really, it's only like a second and a bit. That's about it. Not much. Not much more. Okay. Oh, auto scroller. Yeah, let's go. I'm assuming he gets that. The P speed. You gotta get the P speed. Oh, he goes down. His scared me there. What was that, man? That was scary. Nice, this level's good. I know not to get the slowdown bonk, thanks to Tompa. Thank you, Tompa. Nice. This is a very easy level. Alright, let's see how the super swim went at the start of the fortress. I think I messed mine up. Nope. Nope, neither did he. Nice, very nice. Nice. I've always liked this fortress. I, I didn't. I've never thought there's really anything wrong with this fortress. I thought it was always pretty exciting. It's like when I was a kid, this level was very hard to like navigate through and not take damage. It's that like that section right there and stuff. Nice fire kill from both. How much time would that save if you actually grab the orb up top of that block? It, it would save a little bit. It would have to, right? 
Oh, he goes for the throw and then the turn back. I guess it doesn't make much of a difference, right? Oh, he got the side jump. Did he not try and jump at the at the end pipe there? What? Do doesn't that save time if you... If he didn't get that jump, that would have lost some time, I, I would have, I would assume. Maybe you don't have the vertical pipe jump. Maybe you can just run in all the vertical pipes and then go. Oh, we had to do the turn back on the block. Very nice, very nice. So, so really, the only difference is a couple things. The Hammer Brothers. Um, I, I honestly think he got a slightly better Super Swim in uh, World Three Fortress Two. I think he got a better Super Swim than I did, but not enough. Like a better Super Swim would have to be like frames or something. So. Auto scroller, go for the fire kill. Probably the exact. Unless he does the stomp fire kill. No. But the stomp fire kill is something that I want to implement because that the stomp fire kill is a little bit faster. Look at that. He lost three seconds in World 3 to me. Probably because of Hammer Brothers. A couple little slip ups here and there, but other than that, nothing really. All right. Nice four one four one very nice. Oh, we got the upper decker. What is that about? These runs are very similar. Okay, he got a scary Hammer Brother movement at the start, but he uses the music box. Very nice. Gets the despawn. Okay. So I didn't use the music box there. Um, and I got lucky with the hammer brother. He did move down and back up again. Okay. All right. All right. The most satisfying level, 4-3. Like, everyone loves this level. I don't understand that, man. It, it, that's crazy what he does there. I don't think that's a time save. Like, I'm pretty sure he lost time there. Oh, definitely. It, it, but again, it's always what's comfortable, right? It's what's comfortable for you. It's never... So now he's got to backtrack. So that is a little bit of a time loss there as well. I wonder where he comes and cleans up the time save. And does he use a star in this level as well? He does use a star and bonked on the overworld, so... Oh, I messed up the fortress. I didn't know I did. Look at that difference right there. Okay, okay, a little slip up in World 4. I've got a little time save. Okay, so a time save in World 2 and a time save in World 4 so far. From my video. But he used the star where I didn't, so there's got to be a star somewhere. Did I just get a movement of 4 as well? Let's double check here. Let's see. Yep. Okay, this level is like the worst level in the world. This level is, oh, I think everyone dislikes this level, for speedrunners at least. Very nice from my side, very nice. Good job, good job, good job all around. Dude, I've lost- yo, I've lost two records in like the past three days. You wanna know what's funny about losing two of my records is that 
all of the time combined with both of my records lost, all the time combined that beat them is 0.3 seconds between both records. <laughs> it's crazy, man. It's crazy. But it's exciting. I love it. I love it, man. It's, ex it's very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so it looked like Maiba actually had to do bottom pattern, right? Let me just double check. Let me just double check here. Okay, so he went top. Oh, I went bottom first. That's right. Okay. Did I get P speed? Oh, I did. Ooh, I'm, this World 4 is not going to be fun to beat. All right. See, he's gonna go down. I don't think my bud knows P speed in this level. He does, he does. Oh, he almost got it too. Very nice, man. Very nice, my bud. That's that is easily one of the hardest P speed strategies in the entire game. And I'm super, super stoked that he went for it. Um, I know Giga also goes for it as well. Tries it, and he tries it, and I try it now. That, that's that's incredible. Very tough strategy. All right. So that strategy alone is, is what allowed me to stay ahead. So I lost time in the first fortress. Um, a lot of time, actually. But getting P-Speed in 4-5 uh, uh, is like easily a second or two time save. Very nice. Very nice. Good World 4. And the beauty of recorded runs allows us to fast forward over the autoscroller. Thank goodness. Ah, yes. The fast forwards. Okay, so it looks like pretty clutch fire kill from both of us. His, I think, is actually a little slower there. Because I do I do the double shot, jump double shot. Hold on, let me... Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. If you look on the bottom right, if you watch my kill first, and then we'll watch his, his kill second. It's shot, jump shot, stomp, shoot, got him. And then if you watch his kill, it looks like he... Double shots and then wait a little bit. Right? He could have shot on that jump, but not a not a big time loss, not a big deal. He golded. That was a gold world four. I wonder I wasn't paying attention to Hammer Brother movements. I think he might have got a bunch of movements of one, I'm not sure. But that's damn good gold, man. Think about think about if he would have got yo, he's minus 6.9 on his PB. Think about if we if he would have got um P speed in 4-5. That would have been insane. Alright, let's start it up. World 5, 5-1. Five, um, I got 4-5 P speed. I don't know if I got 5-1 P speed. But I know I have time to save in World 5. I think I got pretty crappy hammer brother movements, but I think everyone does in World 5. World 5 is garbage. I did get P-Speed, okay. Right on. Okay, so movement of two for me, movement of two for him. Let's try and keep up with the movement, Hammer Brother movements. It's very important. Okay. Goes for the block bump. Oh, I, I missed the jump. Okay, so 5-2 is a little bit of a time save for me. So far, we have uh, in-level big time saves is 2-4-1, uh, 4-4-1, uh, and 5-2. We can save time in those three levels. But we don't save time if we don't get 4-5 P-Speed. Okay, moving to 2 for me. Moving to 4 for him. Man. But I wonder, is he gonna go for the Hammer Brother here or Music Box? Should be Music Box, yes, okay. So this is actually pretty good for him. This, if he gets one movement of four here, um, then um, it'll be a good payout. It'll be a really good payout. Cause he's got one Hammer Brother stuck and then like he could technically just get all movements of one from here on out. So it's exciting to see. So movement of two, two movements of two for me, a movement of two and a movement of four for him. 
Okay, let's see if he goes for the D-Leg strat. I did not go for the D-Leg strat. Oh, he tried for it. He missed. I like how he's using that pipe. That was something that I implemented during... Um, during this grind. I hadn't done it before. Uh, but you, you can see in the level... So you could do like a full big jump up to the blocks, but like sometimes you don't get the right momentum. So if you watch my screen, you can see at the bottom here that I'm that I'm gonna jump on the pipe. So here's my mouse cursor, it's going over here. So you can normally just jump from here to the blocks and then you shoot in between and it's like super easy, but sometimes you don't make it on the blocks and it gets really, really annoying. So during this grind, I started to actually just jump on the pipe and then jump up. You have to have like you have to react a little bit faster, but I think it's just so much better altogether. Um, you don't ever have to worry about getting the right momentum because running it forward and getting the right momentum can sometimes cause you to body rub this pipe, and that's just a disaster. And it looks like Maiba also does it as well. It jumps up here. It's it's actually much better. Um, I like it a lot. Um, but the idea was to shoot the first spiny in the level. Um, sadly, neither of us did it. It will save uh, some uh, leg frames. Could have saved a couple frames there. Let's see if he goes for the... No, nobody goes for it. The point, the point three time save. Yeah, so for anyone wondering, there's a jump right here. Right in this exact spot. If you jump and land like... So he's going to land about right here. Right? If you jump and land right here, you can do like a perfect... Full big jump, turn back, and it's like, it, it's got to be really fast. And, and what it allows you to do is you jump from here, and you just go all the way over the piranha plant and land on the question blocks right over here. Right? And it saves all of this. The turn back, the shoot, you just jump from here all the way on the question block. But you not only risk taking damage, but you risk just not even keeping P-Speed altogether. It can be, it can be a nightmare. All right, so he got a movement of two, or I got a movement of two, and so did he, okay. And now we're both fighting the same Hammer Brothers. So, two, four, two, 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 two for me. I think I just got another movement of two. He just got a movement of three. So I use, so if you remember in World 4, um, Maiba used his star in 4 Fortress 1 um, so that he doesn't have to ever worry. Because that level can really, if you lose Fire Flower in that level, your run's over. But instead of using a Fire Flower in that level, for me, I use a Fire Flower in the Twisty Castle. And if you look in the bottom right here, you can kind of see why it benefits you. You can just run through all the Death Waffles and just go right in the pipe versus what he's about to do and you can kind of see the difference right death waffle star you just run all the way through to the pipe and if you watch my but this is like the normal strat if you don't use a star here turn back jump body rub and then go so using a star in world 4 fortress 1 doesn't save any time it's a safety star so you don't lose fire flower using a star in this level will actually save you time so it's a it's a risk it's a risk slash reward thing Okay, so I think my World 5 was actually a little bit better than uh, than I had thought. Both of our Hammer Brothers are pretty close to the same spot. Good, looking good. 5-4 uh, is uh, pretty easy. It's got a little bit of scare to it, but it's not so bad. All right, movement of three for me. And I have the extra music box. See, I didn't use a music box in World 4. Oh. Oh, I didn't get P-Speed in 5-5. Five, five. That is a big deal. All right, so 5-5, five, 5-2, five, five, 4 four, one, and 2 fort. So my bet uses one extra inventory and used... Um, used... Yeah, one extra inventory and did extra map movement. So that is going to be a time loss on his part. Mm. 
Very interesting. Alright. So, he's done the Hammer Brother, but I have not yet. So, the amount of the amount of time ahead I am, you have to like probably add about 10 seconds onto that. And an extra movement. I am, I'm still going to get a movement of 2 here. Not so bad, not so bad. It's... Oh, auto scroller, what am I doing? Screw this. I'm out of here. We're not watching no auto scrollers if we don't have to. It's bad enough we gotta play these things. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so moving to two. And I have to do one extra map movement. Well, two technically. I'm not risking it at all. Alright, so now the time save is even. How how far ahead I am. Nice. It's honestly not too bad doing an extra inventory star. You just have to... Or an inventory cloud. As long as you get rid of the hammer, brother, I think that's most important. That's the biggest... That's the most important thing. It sucks having to use a cloud, but... I mean, you have a cloud in your inventory. It was probably cost them like a second or two. No Jesus clip, guys. Sorry. Where's G-Bads at? This is... World 5, Fort 2... Timer went off somewhere. It's like a bat signal for him. Very nice. Neither of us got screwed over. We were able to keep Fire Flower. I don't think I don't think either of us got the dry bones as well, which is pretty good. So my world five was actually really good. Oh, he goes for the early P speed, saves the. 12 frames that's like exactly what beat the record too now that's a, that's a, i know it's over 10 frames saved so that's not bad it's pretty good so my world 5 is actually pretty good in terms of rng um but i did actually lose a couple seconds in terms of strategies 5.5 five and 5.2 is actually really not getting p-speed on 5.5 is a pretty hefty time loss all right double auto scroller Double auto scroll, let's double check, make sure the fights went good. Oh, I almost got off screen wand grab. That's bull crap, dude. Oh my god, I got the wall jump too. I jumped a little too early. Dang, dude, I would I would actually be another two to three seconds ahead right now, but no, I had to jump early. Yo, Gandalf, is that Gandalf? That kind of look, the king kind of looks a little bit more like um, Saruman. A little bit more there. All right, six one. bad yes it's all it's always until oh another auto scroller oh i didn't do the auto scroller but let's see did i get p speed in this level i need to make sure and i did i didn't mess anything up okay i gotta keep it logged man that auto scroller is long dude if you could somehow find a way to skip Ooh, we got a pretty hefty movement there. I don't know exactly what Hammer Brother movements I got in my run. It's so hard to remember. Nice, he got P-Speed too. P-Speed, getting P-Speed in this level is actually not that difficult, but it's a little, it's a little rough. Apparently I did something slower and I don't know what it is. Did I get a mini marathon? I had to have, right? Like, after what level? Let me go back here. Okay, let's... Let's look 6-1. This is a breakdown video. We need to know... 
Well, I mean, I'm not that far ahead. I, I honestly don't think there was much of a difference here. Yeah, I'm not that far ahead. I think Hammer Brothers were pretty even for us. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say, that wasn't that much of a difference. And I messed up. Oh, no, that was my bad. Sorry, I watched the wrong video. Alright, let's see. <laughs> we both body rubbed. Oh, he double wall rubbed. Double bodied. Okay, not bad. Not bad. All right, Hammer Brothers in pretty good positions. Let's see, did it? Did either of us get peace speed here? I did not, and neither did he. Dang, six four, man, cruel. Six four is very cruel. He got peace speed in his PB. Oh my gosh, did he almost die, or is that how he does it? That is scary. Nice movement of one. That's good. Movement of two. So pretty, pretty clear here. Oh, but he got bottom pattern. Look at the difference between bottom pattern versus top. Look at this. Look at how much faster I'm in this battle right here. Look at how much faster I'm in this battle. It's like, dude, bottom pattern is like a two second time save. Look at that. That is insane. I didn't know it was that much faster. Bottom pattern. Wow. He's ahead now. I had no idea bottom pattern was that much faster. Okay. All right. But I got early P speed here, so now I'm back in the lead again. <laughs> All right. Uh, did, who got despawned? Did either of us get despawned? I did not. He did. Okay, look, despawn. You see the difference there? Big difference. Not as much as bottom pattern, though, that's for sure. Such a big difference, bottom pattern. I had no idea. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, if you take damage in that level, it's almost a reset. So, this level's very, very important. Okay, so he's got to do an extra map movement, and we both got top pattern. Almost entered, man. The Hammer Brothers. That's so far, so far what I'm noticing is like the real difference here in the, in the runs. That's crazy. The Hammer Brothers, man. Holy crap, dude. The Hammer Brothers. But like, it's not like, it's not like Maiba got like crazy more luck than me like i had pretty good world five luck with hammer brothers world three was pretty good for me world two wasn't so bad just a couple things i mean i did make mistakes in um two fort four fort one um five two five five didn't get p speed in five four yeah so like there's there's like actual physical time saves here I messed up an off-screen wand grab, so that's my fault as well. Like, I, I could still be two seconds ahead right now. So, yeah, there's definitely... I can't... It's definitely not RNG's fault at this point. But getting this lucky with Hammer Brothers, like, both of us in terms of overall luck compared to previous runs, we're both very lucky right now in these runs with Hammer Brothers. Like, when I come back and grind this, it's going to be hard to get this kind of luck again. Ooh, very nice. He got a very, very nice refly. Let's go ahead and take a look at that again. He did like a snap turn back to like... Yeah, very nice. I don't even want to check that out. I'm definitely going to want to check that out.
Well, both of the strategies in that fortress, Krantz, result in the same thing. It's you you wouldn't wa you wouldn't naturally want to do a turn back if if he didn't cut the ledge there and get the rebuild the respeed, then it would have been slower. So I don't know if he's got a visual cue for it, but I mean both both of the strats are the exact same. Nice, got the speed boost. Pretty clutch, pretty clutch. All right, 610. This is probably the most thought about level in the whole world. Because if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Nice. Now, did something go wrong on my side? Did I not grab the block for the first jump? No, 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 no. Normal. So where was the time difference here? Um, I think it's just the fortress and a little bit faster level here. Did he get 296? No, it looked like he, he might have been able to. Oh, his PB suffered. Right on, okay. Does he try for it? No. You got you got to go for it. Forty-seven, twelve versus forty-seven, fourteen. Very, very close. Very, very close. Very, very close. It, that that's so nice, though. Holy crap! Big, big difference there. Big difference. Auto scroller. I don't think so. All right. Does the kill? It goes to the sub pixel manip. Oh, he goes for the duck. Oh, that's right. I remember. I messed up the boss. I remember. Nice. He got a gold, man. He got a gold in World 6. Okay, so. The, okay, so 6-4. Better Hammer Brother Patterns. Not movements. 6-4. Better Hammer Brother Patterns. Um, And the boss kill. Get some time save there. Nice. Okay, so... I got time save. I don't have time save in world one, not really. In world three, I don't have any time save so far. Ooh, one, two, three. You got a third try. Dude, his PB almost caught up. His heart rate's pretty high because World 7 is a very scary world. The run starts as soon as you enter World 7. Starts with a 7-1 clip and then fast 7-2. Which I think he does as well. Oh, he doesn't do fast 7-2. Seven two. I think I think if I come back to 100%, I think I'm not gonna go for the subpixel um, manipulation uh, four seven five because that's somewhere where I can actually save a good chunk of time. So I'm actually gonna do that. That's gonna that's giving myself some free time save. I'll still do fast seven two obviously, but I don't think I'm gonna worry too much about the subpixels for seven five. That'll be very exciting. I'm very excited for that. 
right? Because I take the extra damage, lose some frames from that and stuff, so... Yeah, I give myself some free time save. God, that clip is so scary. Looks like I had extra leg frames. Very nice. Fifty one forty a press on that level. That's a good reference point. Oh, sea creatures. I don't think so. Nice try, sea creatures. Get out of here. Yeah, nice try, sea creatures. I don't think so. Hmm, no star here. Interesting. Is he going to use the star for the second piranha plant? I think he is. I think he uses the star for the second piranha plant and then it allows him to still have a star for 8 1. Yeah, well, I also have a star on the first hand, but it's it or maybe I don't use the star Maybe I don't do first hand piece speed because the run's really good I do do P-Speed Star for hand one. Just not in this run, it's a choice. Oh shit, he kept P-Speed there. That is a very lucky thing to happen. Oh, the mess cursor, sorry guys. Nice, that is a nice little time save there. That's That might change the ending though, let's see what happens. That's right, That it changed the ending, that's right. I knew it, that's what happens. Oh, that sucks, man. That's like getting punished for doing something well. So now we have to do 7-9 each. Yep. We talked about this yesterday. Talked about this yesterday. No mid-clip, man. Mid-clip is such a big time save. Okay, so that's pretty good. Oh, I tried for the... I tried... <laughs> I tried for that clip, too. That's so good. That'd be a little time save to get that clip. Alright, what was mine? Second try? Somebody said his was third, right? One. Two. Oh no, mine was third try, his was... Oh, we both got a third try, nice! Nice, we both got a third try. That's cool, man, that's so cool. The time save! There's time save there. Very scary fortress. I don't know, for some reason I find this less scary. I find this less scary than um, Hammer Suit.
So yeah, I think I think I opt out. Oh, what the orb? <laughs> Why did he jump there? That's weird. So I think I use star there. I'm normally prepared. Oh, I don't use star. Nice. Oh no, I do use star. Sorry, I was looking at his. Oh, and then it messed up. You see, I wasn't used to using a star there because I'm prepared to do the 8-1. So that actually lost me time. All right, so I've got some pretty good time in World 7. Don't take damage, extra map movement, 7-7 seven, seven faster. Um, but that's kind of really it, though. There's really not much else there. It's really not much else. Okay, fire kill, right? Okay, nice. Point nine, that's so close. So it's up to like hands now. We got tank brigade. Oh, I lost my arrow here. Oops, okay. Okay, so what happened? Boomerang bro moved backwards for me. All right, backwards for all of us, good. Auto-scroller, auto-scroller. I'm still about 0.9 ahead. Yeah, pretty close. Same amount of time. So let's see what happens with the hands here. So hand one does save a second. So that, and I know he gets it already. I got pulled in by the hand. He didn't get pulled in by the hand. So that's, so that's already a time save right there. Oh, he almost got screwed there. Holy crap. If you don't get in the pipe right away, Mario will go into somersaults. And when Mario goes into somersaults, you cannot enter the pipe. Oh, I caught up. Did I get hand two P-Speed? Oh, I got the fake P-Speed. Okay, so we got time save in World 8, which is really nice. Okay, so we both only got one hand. Why is this PB ahead at this point? Oh, because he had a really good PB, but he loses Fire Flower in the next level. Yeah, I don't know how he lost Fire Flower, but yeah, that was that's horrible. Yes, PB also got no hands, I think. I've got the fox ears. Look at how much time he lost from taking damage and not having the fire kill. It's such a big amount of time. Was there star usage here? Nope. Okay, good. In the 100%, I don't think I'm going to use the star in the fortress now. I think it's just a waste of time. Yeah, now that I know it's like a second time save... That's it. 8-2, man. It's always 8-2 for me. It's always 8-2. I forgot that I took damage in 8-2. And there's a star. Yeah, I'm not going to use the star anymore in this level because it's a second time loss. Well, not a full second. 
But that's it. Look, that's the difference right there. Always 8-2, man. Wait a minute. I brought it back. I brought it back with the P speed. How did I lose? Like, it's this is crazy, man. <laughs> Bowser kill. It has got to be the Bowser kill, right? Auto scroller. I know. It's only a 0 0.1, 0.2 loss. Not much. That's right. Oh, wait. I missed the one-up clip, didn't I? I Karuid. Didn't I? Does he get elevator clip? No. Yeah, it's so... We're so close that, like, a small variance. Like, the stairs. There you go. I body rubbed the stairs. That's it, right there. See? Something as small as the stairs. I body rubbed the stair, the top stair. Right there. Slowed me down. Crazy, dude. That's insane. Dude, we're so close the whole time that the smallest thing plays a huge role. It's crazy. Oh my god. I was three fireballs away. That's crazy. That's so crazy, man. I don't know. But well, I... yeah. That's definitely world record, bud. G freaking G, man. That's insane, dude. The world records. Okay, so like nowadays with speedrunning, it's like it's like more fun. It's more fun to watch the world records, like, side by side. Dude, I still remember I lost the world record to Kujo by one second as well. I remember that. I had a, a 5127 or a 5128, and then he got a 5127. Dude, I've lost both my world records with a total of 0.3 seconds. It's insane. Um, but yeah, like it's it's like so fun to watch world records side by side I recently just watched the Mega Man 2 world record with cool kid and cypher side by side and that comparison was really cool That's that's crazy, man. That that's a that's a really fun watch um, GG's to Maiba for that uh, the frame count definitely got it